Mom's supposed to take me to swim meet today. Alex, it's the semifinals. I can't miss it. Details are still forthcoming. Keep it here for the very latest on this tragic story. And was murdered execution style. Helen Elizabeth Carlton was shot four times in the head early this morning. A crime occurring in broad daylight. Carlton is the owner of a pet store on Grand Boulevard where the shooting took place. She was 45 years old. The murder? No! Under investigation. Reporting live. At this time, we must officially close Helen's case. Th that's not fair. You told her, didn't you? Huh? I didn't say anything. Uh, me neither. Tell me what. Dad got you an early Christmas present. Ellie. A car. Oh. Alex. Alex, hey, wake up. It's almost 8.30. What? Why didn't you wake me up? Dad told me to let you sleep in. Is Daddy mad? No, he's making breakfast. Eggs and bacon. I really don't want to go to school today. We've got the stupid social stats about human rights or something. And you know what I hate? Emma, oh, I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, I know, but just get off me. You're hurting me. Come on, breakfast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. What's your name? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Her name's Maddie. She doesn't say much. She doesn't have to. You talk for her. <sighs> Maddie here wants to win American Idol. Go get him, Maddie. Helping me find my voice. You have a beautiful voice. Hey, I'm Amelia. <laughs> I'm Lisa. I hope we're in the same group. We used to be friends. It was all about her, and she used to get weird when I talked to the girls. What, what's wrong, Amelia? This place wasn't my nightmare. I was in that cave. I couldn't move. I felt something brush against my face, so I looked up. <laughs> it was hideous. I feel like my hair is standing up. Me too. And I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right here when you get back. What? Um, okay. Where are your parents? 
I live with my dad over the ridge. He kill me if he knew I was out here all alone. Yeah, he must be he must be worried sick about you, huh? Well, he wanted the town to get some nails and stuff. He's probably not even back yet. You're not gonna tell him me, right? Is your grandpa gonna be there? I don't think so, Charlene. Why not? Well, he's he's trying to bounce back from a stroke, but it's been really hard on him. But you promised. Well, I didn't really promise. I just want a grandpa again. Oh, honey, I know, I understand. You like Mary, don't you? What? Where do you come up with this stuff? Oh, come on. You know, she likes you too. What, did she tell you that? No. But I can tell. I like Mary, Dad. I like her a lot. Must have dozed off. You want me? <laughs> Somebody! One, two, three, Nothing. one. Not getting a pulse. One, two, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. I'm dead? I'm sorry. But what about my dad? He'll be fine. Really? I have no idea. I can't just leave him. It's not fair. I know. Well, then why? Because there's sort of a, a natural order to things. Natural order is stupid. I agree with you there. This engine's gonna burn too hot. We need that power if we're gonna stand a chance kicking possum butt. But it's not safe. The whole thing could ignite. Shh. Don't look now. Awesome possums are headed this way. We're toast. Guys, I have an idea. It's over, Fargo. There's no way we can win. Yes, we can. The excess heat from the engine can be the additional power we need. We'll turn those possums into roadkill. This better work, Fargo. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, the Radical Raccoon! Is it working? Press the button. I... Oh. 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 Oh.